Yes, but the main goal of that was to hit them two jumps. So we're just getting up here, we're loading everything up. The truck's got everything inside of it that I need inside the truck right now. We're just waiting on Clayton to get off work at four. And uh, we're gonna load up the bike in the truck and we're gonna take off out there, hook the camper up when he's off and we're gonna be heading out to Riverglade for race tomorrow. So bike's loaded. Uh, I'm gonna try to fit as much stuff as possible in here. It's kind of like a puzzle. I'm always putting stuff in the back of this truck just because the friggin' ram box has got the sidewalls of the box. Like extra foot. We're filling this all Cummins up. There's some diesel. Fill up the gas jug for the bike and uh, then we'll be out to Clayton's to go and hook up the trailer and I See you guys out there then. So we're out here at Clayton's now. We got uh, everything on the back of the truck. She's very crammed. Looks kind of sketchy with the pressure washer like hanging half out. Hooked up the trailer and we're just getting ready to go. We're just making sure we got everything, get our last minute little preparations in place. And the truck's still dirty. It was the first thing I was supposed to do today was clean it and. Mark is not going to be happy about that. I know it's the first thing he's going to say when I get to Riverglade. Why is my truck dirty? Man, I knew I friggin' was going to forget those. I took them outside and set them. They're sitting on the deck outside of Mom's right now. We got a little hiccup. I got the right size ball for this trailer. So we're trying to get the ball off another hitch. And it's on there. So yeah, she's on there pretty good. So what we're gonna do is like guy up the road, he's got another ball. We're gonna use his whole hitch actually, not just the ball, I think. That's what we're gonna do and then then we'll be off to Riverglade. And uh, yeah, we'll resume from there. So we're uh, just coming through Memory Cook here, about 30 kilometers out of Moncton. 7.30, probably roll up at Riverglade around 8, I'd say, roughly, a little bit longer than 8, and uh, oh shit, that's a nice truck. We're gonna grab, uh, we're gonna stop at the big stop there in Salisbury and grab some food. I get a double bacon cheeseburger. Just getting here to Salisbury, we'll grab some uh, grub from Big Stop, and then we're hitting up Riverglade. Do you need, uh, I think you have pork tonight? Yep, okay. we're good. Thanks. Thanks. Nice. Secure the bag. Got some spicy chicken burgers here. Some crispy spicy chicken burgers. Toys for people. He's got his MRC license? Yep. Okay, so if you just stand up. We just got to Riverglade. We got everything out and set up, I guess. It's still pretty friggin' hot. It's like almost 9.15 at night, and it's still burning hot, sweating. 25. 25 degrees. Yeah, I got everything set up. Camper set up, bike. I'm gonna go grab some water just for tomorrow, be able to wash the bike, and yeah. Just got the water secured. Full barrel, all ready to go for tomorrow. Get a few washes out of that. And Get some racing in. Just waking up. Got Riders meeting at 7:30. We're gonna go over to Riders meeting. See what's up. Because they were saying something about schedules being swapped because of rain. I don't know. So. We're gonna go figure that out when we get over there. Just went to Rogers meeting. Uh, schedule's back to normal, I guess. Back to a two day thing. It's good. It's a, what the plan was. I like to stick to the plan so I know what's going on and be a little bit more spread out too every race. So. Well, we're gonna head out to practice here. We're gonna roll beginners out right now. And uh, we're gonna go. 
take her easy and see how she's going and then probably heat her up a little bit. Practice went pretty all right, I guess. I don't know. The, the roost hurts. The roost hurts at this trap. So just finished up first youth junior moto, first one today. Had a pretty good start. I think I was about fourth or fifth out of the gate maybe. And then just, uh, I don't know, some of them guys are pretty quick and uh, I got lost a few positions throughout the race, but overall it was a pretty decent race. I uh, think I can improve in my corners definitely for sure. So we're gonna work on that and uh, see how the next one goes. Okay, so we're uh, just gonna hop on the bike here and head up the staging. Got moto number two for youth junior. Right after the 65s, head out. I think we're gonna get some drone clips of this one and uh, yeah, we'll try our best to place and see what, how it goes. Decent start. I don't know. Kind of got passed a few times again, same as last moto. Not very happy with that, but you know what can you do? Just gotta get better, I guess. We practice more. That's all we can do from there. And uh, we've got tomorrow too, so we'll go and we'll be racing junior tomorrow. That's worth points, so I'll be really trying to do a place good in that one. We're just sitting here at the toys trailer. Music going, live music for the night time, and tomorrow we're gonna hit up the MX2 uh, Junior Moto. Oh, See if there's eyes meeting, it's not on the schedule, but it probably should be just to see the top. Yeah, I got my MX2 Junior Motors today. Same as I yesterday, we're gonna try and be ripping a little harder for them ones. End of the year, 
It's gonna be a fun day. I gotta go have some fun. Just getting dressed. And get out for this uh, MX2 moto here. Coming up short. Yeah. Beginners next, and then 85, and then MX2. Mm -hmm. Like 20 minutes, half hour. I That was very severe. I just ran, I just, that guy hit the jump in front of me, hit the catapult in front of me, and I was on his ass. And as soon as he landed, his bears went into a friggin' herd left and right, and he just went down. He was curled up like a little ball, and I hit him right in his back. I couldn't slow down. I had my brakes on as soon as I landed. I see him go down, like, hit him right in the random, not random right over, but I slammed into his back pretty hard at a good speed. Shitty feeling, but yeah, like you said. I really hope he's okay. Yeah, there's nothing you could have done about him, though. I'm glad you're okay, bud. Yeah, thanks. Right. Really didn't mean to do that. Couldn't do nothing about it at the point in time. I was in the air and I saw his bears go side to side and he went down. I had the brakes on land and trying to steer out of the way, but I just could nothing I could do at that point. I just hope it's alright. Nice. So I'm watching and I'm looking for you, and then I seen him throw seen his bike just, you know, hit, go into him, and then I'm like looking at him, and I'm like getting ready to go down, thinking about him, right? And then I realize, oh, fuck, that's Riley. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, that's Riley. And I run over, he was running, my mother was running over. I'm like, no, don't go out there. Like, I'm like, I'm just I might try and send the big jumps. Huh? I might try and send the big jumps. Yeah? I think I got it. A better time. Last of the year, man. Here's what you do. When you go, you just close your eyes. Close my you cranker, eyes. You crank her. You close your eyes. And you turn your bike up sideways. No. When you go over, you just spin your bike in a loop and then jump back on. I used to do that. Last race for me of the year. All I can say is no excuse for me after school. Don't hesitate. <laughs> Going into our last moto of the year. There's two big spectator jumps here in Blade. I never hit them before. Last of the year. I think I'm there. I might try and hit them. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I uh, just hit them. That's just the best thing I can do.
Good shit, bud. Thanks, guys. We didn't race the best, but the main goal of that was to hit them two jumps. Big Dad, Big you were pissed after that start. Yeah, I was. That start was ass. Yeah. Not a good start at all. So I just said, you know what? The two biggest jumps of this track. And you did it twice. Last, like, last race of the year. You must. I just down, wanted to have it for next year. So just before the end, you must have went down, did you? No. I So to end off the weekend here, uh, 115 on September 10th, last race of the year, which is all over, last MX2 moto. Overall, happy with it. I didn't ride the best, but I was mainly just focusing on hitting the two big spectators, and I did, I hit them twice, so that's a dub in my head. Coming to next year, being able to hit those, it's huge, so thanks for watching, and yeah, good experience at Riverlake overall, great, 10 out of 10.